Today I recap a 1990 film name White Palace The film starts with a gathering of companions assembling to praise the commitment of one of them subsequent to getting cheeseburgers for his companions long term Charlie Noble understands that the burger shop had sold him six void containers his companions ask him to let it go saying that they ought to partake in the party yet Charlie resolvedly goes to. The burger shop White Royal Residence and requests a discount he finds a server who appears to be worn out on her work also has had her reasonable part of whiners the Lady Gemma Du Puncher requests that he stand by in line however at the point when he takes steps to create a situation she yields and gives him the discount while thoughtfully taunting him Charlie gets back to the party cheerful in. The midst of his companion sneers calling him the legitimate person one man chooses to project a few pictures yet he winds up putting on Charlie's departed spouse Janie's image from when she was more youthful the man attempts to put on another image however the projector is broken driving Charlie to flounder in his misfortune this episode disturbs him and he leaves settling on the close closest. Bar he is occupied drinking alone when Gemma spots him the two talk for some time before Gemma begins playing with him since his significant other's passing is as yet crude in his heart Charlie dismisses her advances and begins to leave Gemma gets down on after him ridiculing him for being unloaded by his significant other Charlie uncovers that his better half passed on and Gemma detonates in giggling asking how she kicked the bucket when Charlie makes reference to that it was in a vehicle mishap Gemma keeps snickering madly prior to referencing that she had lost her to leukemia this ends up being a few holding second for the two and Charlie offers to take Gemma home Gemma lives in the Dogtown neighborhood in Holy Person Lewis both are profoundly inebriated and make two or three risky stairs prior to raising a ruckus around town outside Gemma's home inside Charlie is stunned by the grimy condition of Gemma's home however he chooses to allow it to be he says his farewells however Gemma requests that he stay the night since it would be preferable over driving home alcoholic Charlie utilizes the washroom and chooses to go through the night around around evening time she will dream of his dead spouse he awakens to Gemma performing he attempts to rapidly oppose her she pins her down and completes her work after this the two have private toward the beginning of the day Charlie glances through the house understanding that not exclusively is Gemma filthy however she has a sound assortment of toys portraying her as a floozy Charlie goes out however not before Gemma makes sense of that he figured he would be different Charlie functions as a promoting chief at an organization in the city and has a place with the upper working class implying that he can never have anything with Gemma he visits his significant other's grave on the second commemoration of her passing close by his mom this brings out such sentiments that he goes to white royal residence and watches Gemma do her thing later he visits her at home under the guise of carrying another letter drop to supplant the one he broke Gemma appears to be content to see him and she welcomes him in starting a relationship with the relationship being in its special night stage we see Charlie investing the vast majority of his energy at Norris he fires opening up furthermore being light-hearted around her gone are the tight suits he wore to work and the obsessive worker nature taken such a great amount into one time his manager calls him asking why he comes into work an hour late also takes long midday breaks Charlie makes sense of that his private concern isn't his manager's yet she sorts out that Charlie Imam has met a young lady she surmises that Charlie Imam's kind is a youthful and newly graduated and well off young. Lady and Charlie obliges at one time Charlie gets Gemma a gift and she is eager to see what is inside when she sees it's a vacuum cleaner she is irate and blames Charlie for imagining that she is grimy Charlie concurs and begins calling attention to how muddled and foul her condo is Gemma lets him know that assuming she needs to she can clean and he ought to look at the kitchen Charlie is sorry. When he sees it sparkling and sees that Gemma had arranged a heartfelt supper date for the two of them Gemma is furious and secures herself in the room Charlie feels awful for his activities furthermore compensates for them by bringing her blossoms and making a dinner for them the relationship is more grounded and better with Gemma cleaning her common space with Charlie Morey cap in part 2.